Hey, I'm Matt McKenzie, and today I'm going to go over setting up uh, Azure MFA uh, for an MPS server. Um, so what we need to do is make sure we've got a few uh, prerequisites. Uh, we're not going to go over setting up the actual MPS server portion of it, um, but basically you have an MPS currently, you're using it for your wireless access points or firewall VPN. Um, and you want to harden it by putting on the Azure MFA piece. Um, but in order to do that, you're going to need Azure AD Connect uh, set up, and you're going to uh, need that hybrid identity uh, synced up. And then you're also going to need some licensing for your users. So your users are going to need uh, Azure AD P1 or P2 or Enterprise Mobility and Security. Um, licensing in order to uh, take advantage of this um, so keep that in mind you know a lot of users these days uh, getting licensing it might not come with it um, but it will fail uh, if you don't uh, get that licensing um, <clears throat> it does require uh, server 2012 but it's 2023 and uh, windows server 2012 is going away uh, out of support uh, here this year. So keep that in mind. Probably want to put it on server 2016 or better. Um, and so what uh, some things we'll need to get, we'll need to get our tenant ID um, so that we'll uh, have that information because we'll need it. Um, we're going to go, uh, you know, your users got to be registered for MFA. They already got to be set up. If you're set up for MFA, it's not going to be a pleasant experience. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to download uh, the MPS extension, um, which I already did earlier. Download it again. This is already, uh, I've been using the server for an MPS server already. So, uh, so once we download it, we'll go ahead and install. Read your license, make sure you're okay with everything. Go ahead and click install once you're ready. And it's not a very uh, very big install. Um, they said if you're doing an upgrade, like I pretty much just did uh, a few minutes ago, um, that you just basically uninstall it, run the new installer, and then restart the MPS server. Um, so for, for everybody doing obviously a new install, um, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to get to the right folder um, where the extensions are, or the PowerShell extensions are already add. Um, so we'll get us a Windows PowerShell admin. I'll paste that in. And that'll get us in the right directory. We're going to go ahead and make sure that it uses TLS uh, 102 uh, to connect. Um, and then we're going to run the PowerShell uh, config extension for Azure MPS. Uh, it's going to prompt us to sign into our global admin account and also install the modules required for it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick and get signed in. Okay, and we're back. And it uh, since, like I said, mine already uh, is registered, it already says, hey, you're already registered. Um, but if you want to change your tenant ID, you can. Um, for you, it'll just prompt you for your tenant ID. So since ours isn't changing, we're going to hit enter. It's going to do a updated certificate. Uh, it's going to make some registry changes to turn on the MPS. Um, and then it's going to restart the MPS service. And then when it finishes, it'll say, hey, it completed successfully. Click enter to continue, and we're done. Um, and then, you know, if we follow in the rest of the instructions, it's pretty much the rest of it. It's a, it's a short, short deal. Um, the one thing I did want to go over, um, was, uh, troubleshooting. Um, we've got a whole page. If you look actually on this, uh, right side, it's got troubleshoot and you're going to troubleshoot the MPS extension. Um, so this is the page that pulls up and it's saying, go into the applications and services logs under event viewer. Um, so I've already got that pulled up. Um, so under application services log, Microsoft, Azure MFA, and then there's an OSZ folder. 
and it will show all of your uh, users and if there were any issues um, and go from there. So you can go back then to the troubleshooting page, look for your error um, to find out, okay, what might be the problem? Is it the user's not licensed? Is it that the user doesn't have MFA configured? You know, there, there could be a few different reasons for it. Um, they also have in here, uh, pretty sure they should, yeah, the Azure AD MPS extension health check script. Um, and so it's got, uh, you know, hey, this is what it does. This is, you know, what it'll say. I'll give you an nice HTML report, you know, from your web browser. And it'll tell you which test passed or which test failed to give you a good idea. Um, and the GitHub page looks pretty much identical um for the other page so with the instructions and then you just download uh you know a copy of it and just say hey download zip ex expand it and then run the uh the ps1 troubleshooter and it'll export it all out for you um and so it shouldn't shouldn't be a huge deal um the only thing i had to do otherwise was uh to restart the service again occasionally or restart the whole server uh that the mps server is uh is going on um, in case it had an issue uh, for whatnot uh, you know, restarting the service properly. Um, so that's it. Um, thanks for thanks for watching today.